Democratic Party of Bernalillo County. We're going to be looking at the structure and the two-year cycle of the local Democratic Party. So what is an organization? It is a collection of people working together to achieve a common purpose and a specific set of objectives. So we as Democrats are here to achieve a common purpose and a specific set of objectives. What is the Democratic Party structure? Well, we have the National Democratic Committee, Democratic Committee, uh, National Committee, which I'm gonna just say right now, Jamie Harrison is going to be one of our guests at our May 1st event here in Bernalillo County. So mark your calendars. I know, it's gonna be cool. So Democratic Party, uh, Democratic National Committee, the DNC. And then there, every state has its own Democratic Party. Ours is the Democratic Party of New Mexico. And then every county in the state has its own party. So we have the Democratic Party of Bernalillo County, DPBC, that we are all a part of. So Democratic Party, uh, what well, organizing structure. Uh, the precincts are the smallest uh, organized, well, the boundaries are drawn by the county clerk and approved by the county commission and the secretary of state. A precinct has the, by statute, roughly 2,200 residents and 750 voters. Now those voters, it can be uh, Democrat, Republican, a mixture, declined a state, but it's roughly, the statute states that it, that's what a precinct should have. It is the smallest legal organizational entity in government. And from the county level up to the federal, all political boundaries are drawn around precincts. So what does that mean? It means that all members of a precinct share the same representation from county commissioner to United States congressional representative. So a precinct is a very powerful voting block. If you can get people organized at the precinct level, you have a lot of power, right? For lobbying your elected officials and for voting on your elected officials and getting out the vote for elected officials. So Bernalillo County has 607 precincts. It's a lot of precincts. And uh, so wards and ward clusters. Boundaries of wards are drawn by the County Democratic Party. Uh, in Bernalillo County, each ward has six to 14 precincts. Uh, they are named and organized according to a state house district. So I live in Ward 11A. That means that my ward is part of House District 11. So whatever your ward number is, if you're in 25A, then you are part of House District 25, as is 25B and 25C. So all, which that is a ward cluster. The uh, wards with the same names are ward clusters. They share the same House District. Now precincts in the ward may belong to different congressional, state Senate, and county commission districts, but they all belong to the state ha same House District. And Bernalillo County, we've organized our wards so that we have our precincts so that we have 64 wards. So we have 607 precincts and 64 wards in Bernalillo County. Now here's the overall structure of a county party. So we have an executive committee and members of the executive committee are the county officers and the ward chairs. And then in wards, wards have the ward chairs, precinct chairs, and additional county central committee members. And then we also have platform and resolution committee members and county credentials and rules revision committee members. So these positions are the positions that were just elected during the last uh, couple of months, right, in our ward meetings. They're elected in odd number years. 
So in a two year cycle, which is what we are elected to, this is what happens. In odd numbered years, we have ward meetings where we elect our local leadership, our ward chairs, precinct chairs, and additional CCC members, and the rules and, and uh, platform committee members. And then we have a CCC meeting where these people who are elected here then elect our county chair, our county vice chairs, and our representatives to the SCC. And then in late April, so this year it's happening on April 24th, we elect, uh, we have an SCC meeting where we elect our state party officers and our standing committee members. And then in odd number of years in Bernalillo County or in Albuquerque, we have a municipal election in, in our odd number of years. And then in even number of years, we start again. We have ward meetings again. But this time, our ward meetings are to elect delegates, pre-primary delegates to the state convention. So we're gonna have ward meetings again that will happen between February and March. And those meetings will be electing delegates who will then go to a county convention, but our county is a pass-through where we just say, yes, we certify our delegation to the state convention. And those of you who, who were uh, part of this last year, remember we had it at Siegel High School and we just said, yes, we, we certify that these are our delegates. And then they go to the state convention and that usually happens, the state pre-primary convention usually happens early to mid-summer. And then we have the primary election. And so these delegates that are at the state convention vote on the uh, candidates, the Democratic candidates that are going to be on the ticket during the primary election. And those votes determine the order that the, the candidates will have on the ballot for the pre-primary, for the primary. So then we have our primary election. Now in presidential years, there's also another state convention that happens. And at that state convention, which happens after the primary election, we elect delegates to the national convention. And then there's the Democratic National Convention on election years. And that was one that happened this last year that was so beautiful. I think they did a wonderful job uh, in 2020. But in years that are midterm years, we don't have those. We simply go from the primary election to the general election in November. Odd number years, we elect our party leadership. Even number years, we elect delegates to our conventions. And throughout this entire process, we're organizing and building at the local level. And that's where you all come in. As precinct and war chairs, you're organizing and, and building power at the local level. And one thing that I challenge each one of you to do is to look at the numbers and try to fill up your delegation in even number years and your CCC membership in odd number years. So we can look a little bit more at that at another time. But here, some of the standing uh, committees we have or the two standing committees we have at the county level. Well, we have the executive committee which is once again, the ward chairs plus the county officers. We have the county officers are the treasurer and the secretary and the county chair appoints those. And then we have a pat platforms and resolutions committee. Uh, and that committee considers resolutions and platform planks that are reported to it. So the ward gets together and works on platform resolutions. And those get presented to the county central committee, or to also work their way up to the state to be part of the state um, platform. And so this and that what is what we say as Democrats uh, are our values, who we are. Our, our platform represents who we are as Democrats. And it comes from within, from the, the ground up. And then the Re credentials and rules revision committee. 
that serves as a standing committee on rules revision and serves in an, as an, in an advisory capacity to the county chair and the executive committee uh, as rules interpretation committee. So those are the standing committees at the county level. So what are our duties, your duties as chairs of this democratic party? Well, what we are to do is to organize at the local level by determining issues of concern to precinct members and to work to increase voter knowledge, empowerment, and turnout within our wards and precincts. We connect communities with their elected representatives and Democratic Party candidates. We support the Democratic Party of New Mexico platform. And of course, we elect Democrats. So that's what we're here to do uh, continuously. And that's what you've taken on as your responsibility as ward and precinct chair. So thank you for that. This slide here has some resources that we've made available to help you with that organizing. So this first one is the DPBC Team Builder Directory, formerly known as the database. This directory is wonderful. It gives, uh, using this, you'll be able to get lists of people uh, in your ward, the officers that were elected this past uh, ward election. You get lists of active Dems. So when you're looking for volunteers, this is a great place to look. It also has a wonderful little tool that gives you uh, counts of wards and precincts. So you can find out how many Democrats are in your precinct. That's a really cool thing to know, you know, when you set your goals. How many Democrats do I have in my precinct? And then uh, we have Vote Builder and a Vote Builder service team. Vote Builder is the database that had organizes voters in it. And through that, you can get different lists cut with that tool. Uh, if you'd like access, if you're a war chair, you can get access, but you don't have to have access. We have a vote builder service team that will cut lists for you. So you can go to this link right here and you, have, you all have these links on your documents as well. Then we, we've made this available to you. Uh, Sue, could you please drop the slide deck link into the chat? And then uh, we also have a wonderful communications team that has the puts together information on the website and uh, works on the newsletter and these are a great way for you all to get information out to dems around the county and also to get information about what's going on and then we have training that we are starting to get up and going like this one tonight and also next friday we'll have one uh, as well. It's going to be on, on this, how to get lists of Democrats. So next steps. Here's where you all come in for tonight. So what I've asked of war chairs and what I'd like of you is to start to get to know one another as leaders in your ward. So uh, get lists of the officers in your ward. You're going to do that through the uh, DPBC team, team builder directory and then and we'll go over that a little bit more too. Uh, meet with ward your ward officers and precinct chairs so start getting to know them. We have three zoom licenses available for you all so you don't have to get your own zoom license you can use one of our zoom licenses that's what they're for and there is a link on our website to request a meeting through one of our Zoom licenses. And that is also on your resource page that you've been given. Um, and so make introductions with one another, set goals and get commitments, any kind of commitments. It's just a time to get started and start working toward our, our two year uh, goal. And, Sarah, uh, okay. we yes. have a question for you before we break off. Okay, let me finish Melissa the slide and then we'll, we'll get okay. the the questions. Okay. And then schedule a ward cluster meeting. Okay. Get together with other wards in your cluster and start meeting with them. And then set goals for the 
<clears throat> CD1 GOTV rally with uh, Jamie Harrison and our wonderful Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham. So yes, Sue, you have a question? Yes, Melissa Alexander had a question and she said that last year she had a login to Vote Builder and will that login still work this year? It should, if it doesn't, um, Melissa, then please get together with uh, Beth Jordan and you can reach her through the Vote Builder service team um, form and or if you don't have her, her information, you can also get it through the uh, team builder directory and she can make sure she's our boat builder administrator. So she can help you with that. Okay. We have another question that is the person is seeking some help. I've been getting notices from nation builder with the name of a donor saying I'm the point person for that donor. Does anyone know what this is about? I have no idea. Yeah. If anybody has any information about that, feel free to put it in the chat, please. Thank you. Yeah. That's offhand, it so far. Offhand, that sounds like a scam. I would be very leery of that. Yeah. Yeah. 